we invite you to remain uh, in a calm meditative state whilst we give you a little bit of an introduction for those who resonate with it and then there will be time for what you call question and answer or as we would call it reflection and play now then you have all followed your hearts in this togetherness we are following our hearts in this togetherness in this communication there has been a lot of preparation uh, working up to this cross connection that you are now experiencing on this adventure in other words some of you have clearly felt certain gears being set into motion even before you set foot onto this particular ship water ship we speak with you from a ship sky ship our ships are connected in more ways than you can perhaps imagine we have spoken with all of you through your dreams before this journey you may have remembered in one way or another or you may have not it does not matter it is about the energy that you sensed even in your perhaps well thought through or impulsive decision to be a part of this journey we know all of you as bringers of a variety of galactic energies to your surroundings all in your own individual way and all ever since you were children not all of you have been completely aware of this since childhood but many of you have we wish to begin by thanking you for your path that has led you here to this moment in your life to this particular here and now to this breath that you are breathing and this one and this one and we invite you to sink into that breath of yours to become as highly aware of it as you can possibly be to see if you wish the sacredness of your exchange with the air the way we see it in you your breath as a fundamental ingredient of your orientation in a physical reality let's say time space dream reflects to you your never-ending dance with that which seems untouchable the air with every breath you dance with something that seems invisible your breath is the quickest way to bring you to a fuller awareness of your soul connection for many of you when you feel tense when you feel sad or angry or confused most of you nearly stop breathing but when you allow yourself to breathe if only three times deeply calmly and easily 
you not only open up the space in your rib cage, you open up many of your chakras, you set wheels into motion, you allow yourself to remember your 24 7 connection to higher self that has your back at all times breathe and feel this in your body in your heart remember your dance with non-physical remember your origin from that higher dimensional wavelength from which you are all born. Your cross connections with beings from other higher dimensional realities for some of you have been obvious for a long time. For some of you have become more obvious only in the past few, say years or even months more clearly. Some of these beings are us. We do not always necessarily come in the shape that some have described us as looking like. For most of you, we come introductionary through your dreams. And we love a little bit of a dress up party. So we may come uh, in the shape of uh, puppies, kittens. Sometimes some hybrid children may come through and you find yourself dreaming of a baby that has some really remarkably smart things to say. When looking at its age in comparison to what you might expect from babies that age in your own world, in your culture. Even though, if children were to be understood telepathically, right from the start, they would sound identical. They would tell you wise things, as babies even energetically do help you remember. And this is why so very often the birth of a child in a family resets the entire, you could say, family constellation. It changes the characters of those that are now suddenly grandfather, grandmother, or those that suddenly find themselves an aunt or an uncle and so forth. A mother, a father, a brother, a sister. Family ties are your first steps into practicing deep inner reflection. For most of you, this is how you have chosen to start your earth journeys in this here and now. You start, if you wish to look at it that way, in tiny, highly focused pods. You are in that way your own dolphin families and by many a dolphin you are looked at as the land dolphins if you wish there are many incarnational cross connections between the dolphins and you humanity many of you have you could say linearly speaking lived lives in the continent you know from your history as atalantis many of these souls have reincarnated again linearly speaking as there is only here and now and the re is not an actual fact in reincarnation but many of those souls have reincarnated as humans later down the line many dolphins understand uh, how to look at you 
to communicate with you. It is rather effortless for them to cross-connect with your higher self, to read you in that way if you wish, to reflect back that which is needed. Through play, humor, togetherness, silence, and sometimes the illusion of separation or absence. The one is not better than the other. All mirror reflections are valid, hold their own uh, truth and value for you to play with, with the emphasis on play. As you are detangling uh, yourselves from the illusion of cultural limitations that you may have chosen to adopt in your mindset, as you are freeing uh, yourself from beliefs that no longer serve you, that may have been passed on to you from a lack of knowingness of those that were part of your tiny birth pod, your own family. As you allow yourself to fly more freely, to dive more deeply, you find that at what seems the bottom of the sea, you suddenly reach out all the way to the stars and you begin to open up for more galactic communication automatically. It is for this and many other reasons that we are speaking with you now. It is our joy, it is our pleasure and we wish you to know that the dolphins in this reef are completely aware of what is going on on this ship and on ships connected to this ship in co-creation. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts and joyfully look forward to invite you on this dance floor of question and answer, if you wish. Always a little scary, perhaps to be the first one. Another old belief that does not serve you. Who wishes to break it? Me. Oh no, <laughs> did I really say that? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you did. Good girl. Hello, little dolphin. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I want to ask. Okay, you can um, make a statement if you wish. No, I want to ask something. All right. Um, that cleared up real fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, when I see the beings around me, I often see um, very unusual things. So it's really not humanoid, but really life forms that um, are different. And sometimes they, most of them are very tiny. And there are many, many variations. Um, and some are more like insects and some have little feathers and some look like they cannot even be alive because they don't have a head or um, you yeah, do so not need to have a head <laughs> to be alive. I know, I mean, by our natural laws, <laughs> we will be like, mm, that's impossible. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's, to me, it seems like a very high level of consciousness. And I really love this and I feel so much excitement exploring this. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, but I'm, I'm really looking for, well, I want to dive deeper into it. And I'm looking for like, okay, what is this? Because, um, to me, sometimes it feels like they don't even come from a place or they are just somewhere in between do you. realities. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was just wondering, do you see um, my connection with that kind of uh, consciousness uh, forms? 
Well, first of all, to reflect back on that little segment, it seems as if they come from nowhere, which is kind of what you're saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> you assist yourself in your broader understanding of that which you are multidimensionally reflecting back to yourself by not adding the information of where they <laughs> might come from. <laughs> yes. You, at this point, would feel an overwhelm if that part of the information would be added to the equation, you see? So you get an introduction on the level that you can digest. You get, well, let's say, you're being handed photographs you're being shown images. You see the outside layer of which you know in your heart behind there must be more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just realizing that and being all right with that is what helps you open the door for more. <laughs> yes. <Okay>. By <laughs> feeling the perfection if you wish of every single bit of information that you are allowing yourself to become more consciously aware of in every single here and now adding many to the rational mind logically understandable questions in this case would only lead to frustration and in a sense the teaching for the rational mind is to let you sense the dissonant energy vibration between that type of frustration and the energy vibration that these beings present themselves with to you when you feel in awe you are in love when you feel curious you are in love curiosity is an extension of excitement you wish to discover you wish to explore but the moment that the concrete questions form and into themselves carry even the tiniest bit of insecurity or insistency that is when the frustration comes and the beautiful lesson begins the reflection dance begins we understand that you have been trained to question things but there is a very, very nice, sweet spot, if you wish, for you to land in, cradle yourself into, if you wish. That is the sensing, the feeling, the butterflies in your belly of being curious and desiring to discover more, to explore without pushing it through that narrow funnel of needing to know that one specific question or that other one. Can you feel that type of excitement? Yes. <laughs> and can yes. you feel the joy and love that comes with it without necessarily needing to know a specific thing? Yes, I can. <laughs> it is from that wavelength that the details will fill in themselves in divine uh, timing as anything else in your life can only unfold in that way. There is in that sense no difference between uh, your physical dream reality and those higher dimensional realms. All events, if you wish, all co-creations unfold in divine uh, timing only. Do you trust your path? Yes, I do. <laughs> then you can trust in that if you wish we're not telling you what to do we're reminding you of this option <laughs> yeah i think that was already i really feel like diving into it myself and i think there's still this little voice that's like oh but i want to know i want to understand but or else 
What is the motivational mechanism behind that little voice? I want to know! <laughs> yeah. Or else! Um. If I don't, then what? <laughs> Might something go wrong? <laughs> but I do feel... Oh, oh, is that... Is that not true? I don't know, but I do feel excitement to, to, to see because it's so um, <laughs> magical. So what are you saying? <laughs> it is so magical, but you need to see more of it before you can enjoy what you're already seeing. Okay. Does yeah. that help? <laughs> no. You see the loop, the mind trick? Yeah. Yeah. We can reflect back to you if it's confirmation you were looking for. But some of these things you already knew. That you are cross-connecting strongly with all types of nature spirits that you are cross-connecting strongly with those that you know as the mantids with a broad variety of extra dimensionals and within that let's say palette color palette some are what you would describe as physical semi-physical non-physical individual and group collective from our own uh, family of the Yahyel to Arcturus. In many ways, you are dancing with the stars. <laughs> you will see the appearances given to you that make sense to your rational mind in the moment of perceiving them. When you describe these beings or entities as having little feathers or not even a head, <laughs> You are being shown through simplistic mirroring that what serves you most in that moment of observing the being without the head. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. <laughs> we are having fun with you if you yeah, allow us. Thank you. The being without the head in its appearance also playfully invites you to think a little less and feel a little <laughs> more in a very obvious way. Now you are correct, quote unquote, with your instinct, your intuition, your deeper knowing that this being is of another dimensional wavelength. But like we said before, dress up parties are sometimes the best way to get your attention to a specific thing or two or more. Warping into a specific shape, whatever that shape may be, when you recognize the higher vibrational frequency, speaks to you through symbolism. Explore your own dream language. Uh, explore your symbolism that is custom tailored to you. Trust your own um, higher knowing when it comes to these things. And it will be effortless to read uh, the reflections that you are being offered and thus effortless to see behind that seeming curtain so that you can uh, grasp even more and satisfy some of those butterflies in your belly that have to do with your desire of exploration. For one person, for example, the symbol of a dog may mean a danger. Maybe they were bitten uh, by a dog as a child. For another person, the symbol of a dog may mean man's best friend. Loyalty, joy, playfulness, you name it. When you encounter a dog-like being, in your dreams or a meditation, however it may come to you, if you allow yourself to take that into the equation, of your deeper understanding of how the mirror fractal reality in essence works, how you offer yourself these as symbols of introduction to other higher dimensional realms and beings 
extensions of your greater self. Then you will find yourself on uh, a fast track of deeper understanding. Which is not to say that if you choose any other different route, you would be in the wrong because again, there only is divine timing. And going a zigzag way like this may be much more interesting sometimes than going from A to Z directly. So have fun! <laughs> Yay, I will. Enjoy where you are. <laughs> Does you. this help? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> The layeredness of your beings contains infinite beauty, if you ask us. All right. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. It's wonderful to be able to communicate with you again in this fashion. Thank you. Uh huh. Likewise. Thank you. Um, when I'm meditating, I've got this uh, beautiful person with me. She is from the Yael. Yes. And you, I'm sure, are aware of her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I call her Balaam. All right. I hope she's okay with that. Yes. Okay, cool. And I have something else. I have a taka, which I believe is connected to Balaam as a jaguar. I'm yes. not sure if that's, uh, that's clear. You dance with both of them uh, in multi-dimensional manner, yes. Okay, great. Um, when I meditate with uh, and I call upon Balaam, which I do pretty much every time, I also recently, and I guess it's because of this adventure we're on now, I have also been asking for yourself, Arjun, to make presents. And I believe I have felt your presence. Have hopped on in a few times, yes. Just hopped. Okay, cool. <laughs> the time space experience of that for you might have been different. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, it was, thank you very much for hopping in to my meditation. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. And I enjoyed that. Oh, thank you. Today, when I was uh, swimming with the dolphins, um, I had a very interesting experience where they showed me arrays of color. I believe it was a communication that they were giving to me. Yes. I'm just not sure of the significance of that. Maybe you could uh, embellish on it if you do know of it. You have been given a gift or rather you have allowed a gift to become obvious to yourself. You've allowed yourself to take it in, mm -hmm. to connect with you, a reaching out from another world, another time, as you might linearly say, a piece of information that was hidden within you for a long time, but is now beginning to crystallize your communication with the dolphins has accelerated your awareness of this and so it has been pushed up to the surface into your awareness which is why you saw the particular symbol that you saw it is a beginning of a longer story that is yet to unfold all you need it now because you will always receive what you need all you needed now was the announcement of that and it had to be clear and obvious it stood out so you received it does that help you yes very much all Thank right you. it has to do with your own connection to the Sirius star system and how that energy vibration has unfolded in your life so far and can still unfold from here on forward. What does it mean to you to go with the flow? What does it mean to you to in a way be of service? Those are some connecting topics to the memory that you have given yourself, that you're beginning to unravel. It is like you have put the end of a wet thread into your fingers, into your fingertips. And you were aware of the receiving of that wet thread. And now 
you can allow yourself to gently pull in more without actual pulling might we say you can allow it to flow your way effortlessly automatically it is the only way for this to unfold does that help it helps all right thank you you're welcome just one quick for everyone in regards to communication with the Yael, such as Balam, who's with me, or Yael right now, yourself, and all the collective, uh, we also communicate with lost ones, we communicate with spirit, we communicate with many yes. on different realms, yes. on different vibrational spaces. Yes. And it'd be interesting to understand a little closer or more in regards to where is Yael and the collective and Balam in regards to your state uh, in comparison to perhaps us communicating with a lost one for example in their state all right you're speaking vibrational wavelengths yes all right one moment fundamentally if you wish when you transition as a human uh, you can find yourself not even aware of the fact that you transitioned this would be almost, you could say, the lowest vibrational wavelength that you may transfer into after making this transition. You may not even know you made the transition. Quite surprised why nobody can hear or see you. And then there are layers above that, linearly speaking, vibrational wavelength wise speaking. Going all the way from that lowest uh, vibration to those that you call your ascended masters. A wavelength that you, in encountering uh, such a being, may experience as angelic, or for which you may not even find the words to express that vibration as it is so you choose to believe it seems so rare on your planet today yet you carry that vibration in you all of you at all times or you would not even be able to perceive it in another or even perceive the concept of an send it master in that way even the concept carries a vibrational wavelength that you can perceive and therefore you must carry that wavelength within you. So there is your vibrational palette or chart after transitioning as a human being. You could say that we vibrate energetically with the higher section, maybe one third of that chart if you wish. Yet we find ourselves physically oriented and on that high of vibrational wavelength. Now that may seem odd as we just spoke about those of you that have transitioned, doesn't it? The thing though is that you can be focused in the physical if you orient in a physical time space reality that is entirely made of a fabric that is high vibrational. Can you follow along so far? There are versions of Earth that resonate on the same vibration we do, that our planet does. There are physical humans, we are saying, that have the vibrational wavelength of what you now call your ascended masters, and they did not die. They live that in the flesh. The difference though is that they know the flesh is a dream. They are awake in the dream. We are awake in our dream. We understand we create and co-create our physical reality together. We create the fabric of it from our hearts, our imagination, uh, inspiration, unconditional love. You do too, yet you are in the process of remembering this so that you can see more reflections of this. Until you do 
you play an intensified game of hide and seek. How we choose to look at it. Admirable. How good you've become at hiding. <laughs> and no less admirable how good you've become at finding yourselves with every step of the way. It is our pleasure and uh, passion to reflect back to you, not even just in the composition of this translation, interpretation of our energy verbally, but more so perhaps even in what you may feel inside your own hearts and remember in your higher knowingness that comes through between the words, in the silences between the words and what you feel in your body as you listen and breathe and breathe and breathe. We are all one, levels eventually fall away. But to answer your question, if you seek some guidance in comprehending this, we are a high vibrational conscious, physically oriented group of beings and your family, genetically and energetically, in many, many ways. Does that assist? Beautiful. Thank oh, thank you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs>